everyone! I'm Gabby and I'm Georgie and we are the mummies of Sisterhood Furniture and content creators for Dixiebel Paint. In today's tutorial we will be painting this stunning dressing table with the help of Dixiebel Paint. We will be using lots of texture, colors, all the good stuff. So let's get into it! Let's, let's do it! I clean the whole piece with white lightening, which is a Dixiebel furniture cleaner and it's a must have actually. Once I was done cleaning, I rinsed it twice only with water to get rid of any dirt or leftover solution. I applied two coats of slick stick because we deal with a quite shiny surface so slick stick which is an adhesion primer will make the paint bond to any shiny surface. After we apply the second coat we let it cure for 24 hours before painting. We are going for a texture base, so I'm gonna mix kudzu with sea spray, which is a texture additive. We don't measure how much powder we add, we just add, add until we get the right texture for us. I used a cheap brush or you can use any rough brush you have because this is no gentle on um, brushes bristles. We won't apply texture on the top, we are going for a smooth finish there in case you are wondering. After the texture has dried in about 2 hours, it's color time. We don't have the beginning part of the blending due to an issue we don't want to discuss again. But we layered Mindulep Dixie Bell Blue so far, now bringing in some mermaid tail. I used two brushes for this style and lots of water to be able to move the paint around. I didn't mind if my base color was visible, so I didn't even worry for a full coverage. Now the best part comes when we added the purple, starting with Lucky Lavender on the corner first. I dubbed it to move the paint around, then I used up and down side motions to blend it. If the paint dries, just add water and it will reactivate. I added Amethyst to his beauty, his grace, his bold. I applied it a little bit on the corner as a shadow and blended it with Lucky Lavender. I applied some Lucky Lavender and Amethyst in some random spots too on the details, just quite random. Now let's move working on the right side and bring on some more boldness starting with Florida Orange which I applied on most of this area and somehow try to blend it with the left side of the piece but we will blend them even more later. Colonel Mustard because it really needed some yellow and I blended, blended, added more water at some point Blend it again and the blending went quite smoothly although we have to deal with this color combination. I added some more Lucky Lavender at some point just to blend them even better. I had to try some uh, Flamingo and I love how it works with this whole combination. So we stick with it, I added it on the corner, random spots and it's fabulous. Then I brought back Florida Orange on the corners and the Flamingo underneath makes the um, Florida Orange pop even more. Truly in love. I just had to do some mermaid tail sprinkles on the orange side. I watered the brush, pick up paint, water it again and look at this, like how magical. We painted the top off white with powder cream because white is the only one I could see working with this colorful beauty.
We seal the top with three layers of gator hide as it's durable and it's water repellent, exactly what we need for the top. And we seal the rest of the piece with three layers of flat clear coat and we left two hours drying time in between applications. And this is the final result! Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more of our colorful painting tutorials! See you soon! Bye!